We want to solve the initial value problem y prime equals negative 0.03y minus 9 and y of 0 equals 110. There is a shortcut to solve this differential equation mentioned in our ebook given here below, but I think we're better off solving this using separation of variables before we go over the shortcut. So to solve this using separation of variables, we want to write the differential equation where we have a function of y times dy equals a function of t times dt. Let's begin by substituting dy dt for y prime. So dy dt equals negative 0.03 y minus 9. Now let's write this in differential form so we can think of multiplying both sides by dt where differential y equals negative 0.03 y minus 9 times dt. Before we try to move this factor here containing y to the left side, let's go ahead and factor out the coefficient of y by factoring out negative 0.03. So we'd have differential y equals negative 0.03 times the quantity y plus. Now factoring this out of nine is the same as dividing nine by this value, which would be 300. And then we still have times dt. So once again, if we take nine and divide by 0.03. Notice how we do get 300, and this is positive because notice how if we distribute, we would have negative nine. Now we want the factor of y plus 300 on the left with differential y. So now we'll multiply both sides by one divided by the quantity y plus 300. So notice how on the right side, this is like being over one, so this simplifies to one. And so we're left with one divided by the quantity y plus 300 times dy equals negative 0.03 dt. And now we'll integrate both sides of the equation. The antiderivative of one divided by the quantity y plus 300 with respect to y would be equal to natural log absolute value of y plus 300. We would have plus c, but we'll also have a plus c on the right, so we'll just put the plus c on the right. So this will be equal to the antiderivative of negative 0.03 with respect to t would be negative 0.03t plus, we'll call it c sub one. And now to solve for y, we'll exponentiate both sides so e raised to the power of natural log absolute value of y plus 300 must equal e raised to the power of negative 0.03t plus c sub one. So simplifying the left side, notice how because we have base e here and natural log is base e, this simplifies nicely to y plus 300. We can drop the absolute value because notice how the right side is always positive and therefore we don't need the absolute value. And now on the right side, notice how we have a sum in the exponent position, so we can write this as e raised to the power of negative 0.03t times e raised to the power of c sub one. But e to the power of c sub one is just a constant, so if we let c be equal to e to the power of c sub one, we can write this as y plus 300 equals c times e raised to the power of negative 0.03t. So now to solve for y, which will be a function of t, we would subtract 300 on both sides. So we'd have y of t equals c times e raised to the power of negative 0.03t minus 300. So this is our general solution, but now that we know that y of zero equals 110, we can find the particular solution. So if y of zero equals 110, then when the input or t is equal to zero, the output or y is equal to 110. So we'd have the equation 110 equals c times e raised to the power of, our exponent would be zero since t is zero, minus 300. e to the zero is equal to one, so if we add 300 to both sides, we'd have 410 equals c, and therefore the particular solution for our initial value problem is y of t 
equals C, which is 410, times E raised to the power of negative 0.03T minus 300. Now let's review the shortcut for solving this initial value problem. It says if y prime equals k times the quantity y minus a, then y minus a equals y sub zero minus a times e to the kt. So looking at our differential equation here, notice how if we wrote this as y prime equals, factor out the coefficient of y, we would have negative 0 0.03 times the quantity y plus 300. And this form, notice k equals negative 0 0.03. a would actually be negative 300. Notice how because it has to be y minus a, this would be y minus negative 300 to get y plus 300. And also y sub zero, the initial value, is given as 110. So if we apply this formula here, we'd have y minus a, which would be y minus negative 300, or y plus 300, equals y sub zero minus a, that would be 110 minus negative 300, or 410, e to the power of negative 0 0.03t. And if we subtract 300 on both sides, we do get the same function we found using separation of variables. I hope you found this helpful.